Hey right guys, Trace Munch is Joe here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 7 of Friends Season 6. Last episode we obviously had all the characters moving locations, so from my mind now we have Chandler with Monica in the main flat, we have Joey by himself in the flat across the hall, we have Ross in the flat by himself where Ugly Naked Guy lived, is that right? I think that's where he lived. Uh, <laughs> and he's like down that way, and then we have... Rachel moving in with Phoebe in a location that's not even near that complex. So they're all still kind of close to each other, but it's like, we're still kind of sad that they're all separate, especially for Chandler and Joey for me, because uh, they, someone, someone pointed out like, and I, I agree, because I know for some people it'd be different, obviously for me, I've kind of felt what this person on Patreon was saying, that for season one and two, it was kind of like Joey and Chandler were, were really carrying those two seasons on their back, and their friendship and their comedic timing was like what made me enjoy season one and two as much as I did. And then they pointed out that obviously the chemistry between Rachel and Ross uh, kind of had that as well. Because I look back and I'm like, yeah, I, I really didn't care that much about Monica or Phoebe. I know that's wild to say, but re-watching it, I'd obviously I think I'd love Phoebe and Monica. I'd obviously love them a lot more if I was to rewatch season one and two. But because I've obviously never seen the show before, going through the first two seasons, they were two characters I didn't really vibe with too much. Love them now. I mean, Phoebe was my favourite character from the last season. Um, but yeah, where really was Joey and Chandler's kind of like friendship and then Ross and Rachel's uh, romance. But that, I think that's why I connect more like that when uh, Chandler and Joey were kind of saying bye to each other. That's, it hit a little bit harder for me than Rachel and Monica. Uh, but, uh, they, you know, it literally doesn't even matter because <laughs> they literally across the hall from each other. But I don't know. I still like, I've really enjoyed the last episode. So episode seven, guys, if you enjoy, remember to leave a like. If you're new, remember to subscribe. And if you do want the early and uncut reactions to friends, then come and join us over on Patreon. We are, of course, 10 episodes ahead. Got a great community going on there at the moment. I'm really uh, happy with where we're at on Patreon with everyone really enjoying the friends reactions and, you know, getting engaged in the comments every episode pretty much. And it's just, it's a great vibe over there. So if you want to come join, uh, then the link will be down below and get yeah, some good perks over on there. We have Twitter and Instagram down below, of course, as well. But for now, episode seven, let's do this. Please leave. Leave. Yep, yeah, that's, yeah. But that's I, how I it's going to happen. Leave. Yeah, I know, because you have all the good words. Leave, that is your boy. Like yo, that. And, oh, unique sorry, now. A. Forget it. Oh. It was always going to be unique with Phoebe silly. involved. I want to go running before it gets dark. Oh, why don't you come with me? Really? So where yeah, does Rachel go running? What's that like thing? Our, our first, you know, room Would any of them run? Thing. Okay, let's go running. Yeah, and there's really cute guys there. <laughs> let's run towards them. Okay. <laughs> Yay. You just took all the words. Uh-huh, you've met your match, Rachel Green. <laughs> yes, you have. And Phoebe's going to win every time. Unless it comes to comebacks, then Rachel's going to win. Mm -hmm. By the year 2030, mm -hmm. there'll be computers mm -hmm. that can carry out the same amount of functions as an actual human brain. So theoretically, you know what? It wasn't far off. Thoughts and memories into this computer. He ain't far and, off. And, and live forever as a machine. <laughs> uh, literally not far off. The metaverse is happening. Nah, I don't know. He kind of has a point. It's scary how like far technology's gone since like <laughs> this. Obviously, I didn't nail the boxes to the floor. Oh, so you can move them? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh, is this an actress? Uh, it's... They cheered, so it must be a... Janine I didn't know that. Well, what a pretty last name. What exactly did you ask her? When can you move in? First, yeah, it's a good, good question. Thank you for bringing her into our lives. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. Oh. oh, so you like her too, Chandler? Hi, look at all the boxes. <laughs> good save. <laughs> It's hard for me to be around an attractive woman and, and not flirt. <laughs> well, you're around me all the time and you don't flirt. <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> yeah, look at <laughs> Ross's face. <laughs> Ross was like, bruh. What's going on? Come on let's <laughs> what have I just seen? <laughs> of course, Phoebe runs like that. <laughs> When That's she runs, great. It, she looks like a cross between Kermit the Frog yeah. and the Six Million Dollar Man. Why don't you just be straight with her? Tell her the truth. Yeah. Already. You're right. Day one. You're right. I should just tell her the truth. Hey. Hey. No one hey, in this show tells the truth. Me. I don't think I can ever run again, ever. Yeah, there you go. Why? Why would you do that? 
I don't know. <laughs> Rachel, I'm, I'm Why sorry would that she do ankles. that? Ankle. We'll see. Oh, <laughs> threats. <laughs> God, every time I see the twin tie, it just throws me off. I'm like, Jesus, it's still pre-2001, this. You know, I used to think there was the two towers, from, but because I used to get them mixed up with the Lord of the Rings towers when I was younger. Well, I guess Joey went home. <laughs> oh, my God. You almost gave me a heart attack. Oh, <laughs> so hard not to laugh. <laughs> uh, you know, I got all this, this built-up flirting energy, and I don't know how to get rid of it. How you doing? Ah, uh, there we go. <laughs> that makes sense. Now, why did you try to be like you? What's wrong? <laughs> I'm gonna hit the shower. Real smooth, man. Real smooth. Oh my god. Oh, sorry about that stuff hanging in there. It's just my thongs are too delicate for the dryer. <laughs> You're literally quivering. Oh. Hi. Oh yeah. Uh huh. It's me. I saw you grab your running shoes this morning. You can't out small Phoebe. If I could run, and I can. Please, Rachel. I am not an idiot. No. Wait, Phoebe. <laughs> I can't be asked. <laughs> uh, has no one seen Phoebe run ever? Couples who live together do start to look alike. So. Mondler. When did the door close? Uh, Mondler. There we go. What, uh, what, there it is. That's the doing? ship name. Yes, I'm going to put it back exactly where I found it. Okay, first of all, that attitude is not helping. <laughs> she is not going to care if I put her stuff back in the same stupid place. Oh, hello. I don't you know. Monica? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be with Ross on that one. Hi. Hey, Mon, how's it going? Terrible. I'm telling you, if, if, if I want something... Oh, done, yeah, she I works here. Other people just wreck stuff. I really think I might kill someone tonight. Jesus! <laughs> I think I might even try to get out of here early. No, 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 no. No, no, it sounds like uh, they really need you down there. All right, you just hanging out with Ross? <laughs> it's all good. Okay, bye bye. My life. Yo, he's panicking. He's panicking. She's going to kill me. Yeah. <laughs> the phone is facing the other way. What are you talking about? The couch is perfectly in line with the carpet, and then I could just walk over here and casually just put my feet right up on the. Ah! Uh... But then the coffee table won't be centered in the seating area. So how does she do it? What? Was that English? Look, what am I gonna do? I'm not flirting, but still, I'm, I'm, I'm drawing her to me like, like, like a moth to a flame. <laughs> what the hell's going on over here? <laughs> Monica's gonna kill you. You guys repel women all the time. <laughs> I've been married oh, three times. Ooh, yeah, got him. No, 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 no. I've seen it happen. You, you, <laughs> you get a rapport going with a woman, but somehow you manage to kill it. What's your secret? <laughs> Ross's face is the... And they don't like it when you explain why your jokes are funny. <laughs> you know, they don't like it when you keep that asking the them if they like you. Man, I'm so lucky I have Monica. I'm never gonna find love again. Yeah, there we go. We've come to that realization. Hey, Phoebe, can I talk to you for a second? Sure. Yeah, you better talk to Phoebe. Ah, uh, uh, well, yeah. You know, the reason that I didn't want to go running with you is because. Um, you run like Kermit well, the Frog, just it say it. It's just a little. <laughs> so? Well, it's embarrassing. People were looking at us like we were crazy. No, nah, looking at Phoebe because she's so iconic. <laughs> I didn't get embarrassed running next to Miss. Ooh. <laughs> but oh, okay. No, no, I can see why running with me would be embarrassing to you. Yeah. Okay. You're uptight. Phoebe, what? don't care. Right, but I am not uptight. <laughs> I am not uptight, man. <laughs> oh god. That's Good okay. save. So running toward the swings or, or running away from Satan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that. Dog. Oh. I kind of wish you didn't explain that one. 
Okay, let's just land from the right. No, 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 you can't come in here. R R Ross is naked. <laughs> what? Why is Ross naked? He's stressing out. I, I had to show Chandler something. Right, yeah, that's... Naked? You've yeah, just I, made I, it uh, worse. I guess I have a, uh... A guy problem. Right. Is it the same thing? <laughs> it's fuming. Now? Okay, let's yeah, let's move on quick. Hey listen, there's still some of Chandler's medicine left under the sink in the bathroom. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, it could have gone worse. <laughs> some beer for you. Uh, don't don't you mean for whom? <laughs> what? <laughs> It's not like I never had that before, but I'm pumped. Is there something wrong? <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, that, okay. just scratch that. Let's just get this out in the open, okay? You're hot. I'm lovable. Clearly, there's a vibe going on between us. Right, I love you, John. Now, roommates. Well, I don't think there is anything to do. I was gonna say, what's even happened? <laughs> But I'm just not interested in you like that. There you go, sword. Ah, there we go. That's the face of an offended oh. human. No, I mean... Oh, he's going to cry. <laughs> it's because I was trying to repel you. No, bro. <laughs> You'd feel a lot different if I turned it on. I don't think so. Oh, I do. <laughs> uh, you yeah, I knew it was coming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh dear God! Hey, work of me, off you go. <laughs> Gonna go cry into his pillow. Yeah. Yo, she came running at you though. Bro, what was the horse doing there? <laughs> it's kind of weird. Is it okay for me to come in now? Uh huh. Just about. Oh, 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 oh. Why is everything different? Oh. Uh, Bye. <laughs> How does she know? That? So I, I I cleaned the apartment. So I moved everything around, and then I I forgot. She called me bad. Where she called me mad. I'm sorry, I'm very sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's okay. There we go. Chandler, are you afraid of me or something? Do you want me to be afraid of you? <laughs> you think we'll be afraid? Not. I know I have this weird I'm thing where I want for everything the to moment, be in the perfect place, though. but did Ross sit anywhere while he was naked? <laughs> <laughs> She's still buying that. So it says that by the year of functions as an actual human brain. So theoretically, you can download <laughs> your thoughts. I think it's and interesting. Your memories into <laughs> Sit looking back at us. And live forever as a machine. You and I, we're, we're interfacing. <laughs> what? Yeah, I gotta go. Oh wow, you kind of, you kind of had her for a second engaged in the conversation, <laughs> and then you kind of screwed that one up because he kept talking. <laughs> Wait, she's at her done. She's done from the show now. She's in a one up and she's got. And I guess she still lives with Joey. She didn't say she was moving out. So maybe. Let's have a look. Uh, L. L. Ellie? Ellie? I don't know. Muck Fearson is an Australian model, actress, and businesswoman nicknamed The Body. She's perhaps best known for her record six cover appearances for the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue beginning in the 1980s okay so she's a australian model that was never good <laughs> uh she was someone she was someone of importance because she got a round of applause when she came and i was like is she gonna be in a film or something that i don't know of so i'm gonna let that one slide i didn't know she was i'm sure there's some people who did there's a couple in there that I probably should have picked up on before, so I'm always going to check now. And if they get a round of applause, I'm checking who it is, if I don't already know. But yeah, there we go, guys. That is episode seven of Friends Season 6. Very good episode. Really, really enjoyed this one. I think it was, uh, again, I 
I think one of the more funny ones of the season, I think this and was it the last? No, it wasn't the last episode, it was the episode before. I think, I could be wrong. Uh, I watch Friends very close together, so sometimes it just jumbles into one, but two very, very funny episodes this season. I think this one was up there. Mainly the, <laughs> like Chandler moving stuff around and the conversation Joey and Ross were having with him on how to repel women or whatever, just ridiculous. But uh, I think it's more, again, David Schwimmer's facial mannerisms that really sell some of the scenes he does it so well and I've, I've said it before i'll say it again just you know some random person might this might be their first time seeing a friend's reaction but uh i think he is the actor that most falls into the character he's playing out of all of them i think it's like he's the one you well, you, you can't replace any of them but i do think david Schwimmer is the one that you, you just he's ross so well and it's just he gets the mannerisms down to perfection so he uh he nailed that this episode um, didn't see much of Monica, but I think it still had a story kind of revolving around with uh, Chandler trying to do something nice with the apartment. And she didn't actually freak out, which was kind of nice. Because uh, in my head I was like, okay, you don't expect him to know this, but didn't you expect Rachel to know all that? So it could have gone either way. Uh, Phoebe running was adorable. I don't even care. The, the line where she's like, oh, when you're running away from Satan, I kind of wish she just left it at that. That would have been better. If she didn't even like, say it was like the neighbor's dog or whatever, that would have been perfect. Um, so yeah, Phoebe, Phoebe's Phoebe, great. And then Joey having what seemingly has a crush on his new uh, flatmate, obviously, because why wouldn't he? Because it's Joey, but his charm not quite working, which I like. Joey's charm is failing, because it would have been so easy for them to just be like, oh yeah, she has a crush on him and they've, they've slept together and now it's awkward in the apartment, but I think he can do something a little bit different with it. She's just not interested in Joey. Everyone's interested in Joey, but not this person, so... Uh, yeah, overall, very, very good episode. I'm going to give it an 8.2 out of 10. I think the, you know, storyline-wise, it wasn't the strongest, but I think the comedy in this episode really really worked for me. So uh, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought of the episode down below in the comments. And if you do want the early and uncut reactions to Friends, then come and join us over on Patreon, like I said. We have a very good community over on there. And it's a really good vibe, so if you want to join, it is, will be linked down below alongside my Twitter and Instagram and the Clips channel. And I will see you next time for episode 8. Until then, take care. Peace.